This is a beautiful 1968 Chevy Camaro convertible. It's powered by its numbers matching original IMA 327 engine that's been upgraded to a two barrel, or I'm sorry, from a two barrel to a four barrel intake and carburetor. It's got an Excel super coil. It does come equipped with power steering and uh, does have a uh, electric fan on it. Bottom side of the Super Sport hoods painted beautifully. Gap's real decent on it. It's a little wider in the front than it is in the back. And this uh, hood sits down just a little bit there, but that could be adjusted by that uh, little striker. Um, same thing on the passenger side. Nice, easy, even gap here from front to back. This Camaro. Um, does have all the Super Sport badges on it, SS on the front and rear. It's also got the SS hood, the front chin spoiler, and the rear spoiler. So, great looking Camaro. Uh, bumper's brand new up front, grill's in excellent condition. So are the turning signal lenses and stuff, they're new also. It's riding on a beautiful set of American Racing Torque Thrust rims with excellent tires on them. I don't know how old the tires and wheels are, but uh, they're in great shape. This is just an awesome original car. Um, this car did came from the factory, originally yellow, but obviously wasn't this bright yellow color. It's more of a pale yellow from the factory. It does have the Super Sport uh, stripes, Super Sport emblems on the fenders, and of course the uh, ice cube tray Super Sport hood. Paint on the car is older, but it's in great shape. It's a base coat, clear coat. We have a little chip here in the stripe, a little scratch. Other than that, the paint on her fender is in great shape. We got a little chip here by my thumb. It's been touched up, looks good. No blisters anywhere there. It's got the new uh, rocker molding down below. Um, I don't see any blisters in the rocker or lower quarter. It all is nice and solid. Very nice straight quarter panel. We have a little paint chip right here by my finger. It's been touched up. You look close. Uh, door handles look like they've been replaced during the restoration. Also, all this chrome's in great shape too. Original AM Delco, Delco radio still works. Um, it's got uh, both of the chrome mirrors and they're in good shape as well. All of that stainless here in the passenger side is really in nice shape. Um, also has new wheel well moldings and a great sounded brand new dual exhaust system that comes out the back nicely. New back bumper. If you're looking for an awesome Camaro to drive this summer, this is it. This is flashy and it's just a super straight car. Um, older paint but still has a beautiful shine to it. Very nice car. We got the car in, we put new bumpers on front and rear. We also put brand new tail light assemblies, the full housing with all the chrome and tail lights and everything. Um, just like a lot of them when they come in, they got some pits and stuff in the original one. But these are brand new. We do have a couple little stress cracks in the paint on the spoiler. One there and one there. Hearst equipped sticker, it's got the Hearst shifter and stuff in it. Uh, black tops in really good shape as well on it. This is the car that, uh, until it sells, I'm going to kind of drive the summer um, around town and stuff. Just a great looking, great sounding driving car. If you look up the driver's side and the passenger side, both are just super straight up and down the sides. It's not wavy at all. No blisters behind the wheel or rocker panel lower fender all that's nice and solid uh, we do have one little paint touch up that's right there above my finger new door handles new emblems all four corners are new up here in the marker lights as well so I mean this car's pretty much got all new trim on it for the most part great paint 
Um, the jam paint, if we look at the bottom of the jams, when they repainted the car, um, it's probably been painted a couple times. They didn't do the jams here. You can tell the jam paint's just a little heavy. It's just got some cracking on the paint. There's no body filler or nothing on these corners. They're rust-free original. But it's just a little heaviness on the inside of that door jam uh, from the repaint the first time. Other than that, the door jams look real decent on it. Um, it's got the uh, upgraded SS uh, steering wheel. We do have the original one as well if you'd rather have that. But the SS steering wheel matches the Hurst shifter very nicely and also the aftermarket uh, auto gauges. Um, gas gauge works in it. The dash instrumentation, all the black paint is beautiful. The wood grain's all nice and new. This car is just super sharp. Um, seat covers, as far as I can see, are the originals. You can see in the very corner of the seat covers, the stitching's just coming loose a little bit. And you can just kind of see just a little bit of wear. There's one, two, three, four, four little tiny spots there that have just a little wear on the seats. But they are original. Um, door rubbers were done probably back in 2000 or whatever when the car was done as well. So not new, but they're still pliable. Door panel on the pass driver's side and passenger side are both excellent. Kick panels are new. Carpet is brand new. Scuff plates are new. Just in great shape. Um, emergency brake does work. Wipers are in working order. I mentioned earlier the Delco radio works. Temperature gauge is running about 185. We do have electric fan on there. Oil pressure after it's warmed up is running 30. Uh, volts running, um, volt gauge works as well. It does have the uh, a great shifter with the slide and everything in it, boot, just super nice. It's got the original owner's manual, some other information in that original packet. This was a local car when we bought it. The previous owners have had it for uh, quite a long time. We got it in, we put the SS badging and stuff on it and uh, just put all new trim and stainless and stuff. It's also got an auto gauge uh, tachometer, so the tachometer matches all the gauges, the steering wheel, and just very nicely color keyed. This car's got, uh, like I said, it's numbers matching 327. It's got a four barrel on it. Um, beautiful shift and four speed transmission. It does have uh, lower gears in the rear end. I'm sorry, higher, like high, more a highway gear in the rear end. If a guy wants to, you could put some 355s and really liven this car up. But it's probably got 301s or something in it now. So it's got a ton of highway speed. We're in second gear, doing about 3,000 RPM, 35 mile an hour. The clutch feels great, transmission shifts nice. I personally drove this car over 100 miles um, back and forth to work a couple times and it just handles the road great. Also I just want to mention the wood grain on this console looks like it's all brand new as well. And it's got the Hearst equipped uh, sticker here and the emblem on the console and it does have it on the rear spoiler as well. Brakes are excellent. Got a nice firm pedal, no pull left or right. The only thing in my personal opinion that make this car even that much better is just put some 355 gears in it and you'd have yourself one heck of a hot rod.